In this video, I will briefly be going over my Aaron's Amp lithium battery upgrade. I bought 16 of these LIFE PO4 CALB CAM80 FI cells. I purchased these from Jack Rickard at EVTV.me. Total price for these was a little over $2,000. Since I will not be using a battery management system with these, I bottom balanced all the cells down to 2.5 This process took about two weeks. I used a cheap bench DC load to drain the batteries and a bench power supply to give them a little charge if needed. The original lead batteries were 48 volt, 75 amp hour, and weigh about 200 pounds. The new lithium batteries are 48 volt, 80 amp hour, and weigh about 80 pounds, and take up less room. Since they take up less room, I had to build a cheap box to keep them from moving around in the mower's battery box. I also built a removable top so I could mount the equipment needed, and also get access to the cells for maintenance. Here you can see how I put the cells in the battery box. I put 1 8 inch thick plastic around the outer sides of the batteries so they would not be rubbing up against the wood. To fit the cells in here, I had to remove the original plastic battery holder and the metal battery holder that goes under the seat. Here is all the cells wired up in series. I used Nordlock washers to make sure they never come loose. If you do this, do not cheap out on regular lock washers. Get Nordlocks. I use an Anderson connector to connect the batteries to the top side. Here is what I have on the top side. I used extra plastic I had left over to help insulate everything. Under here is where I have two bus bars that connect the positive and negative to the mower using the original connectors. Here I used two fuse holders to make a makeshift fuse holder and shunt holder for my new amp meter. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. The fuse is a 100 amp fuse. This is the wiring board for the amp meter. I used the remaining plastic I had left over to cover the terminals of the batteries for extra protection. Here is how I have the batteries connected to the top side with the Anderson connector. I read connectors from the old batteries so I would not have to redo the wiring harness on the mower. It's a bit messy, but it works. Here is the amp meter board hooked up and routed through the side. The original meters were not that great, so I installed a new meter that shows voltage, watts, runtime, amps, total amp hours remaining and total percentage capacity remaining. Here is a charge test showing a little over 5 amps going into the battery. Under no load, the mower is using about 13 amps. with the blades about 29 amps. Because the LED meet unviewable in the sun, I added a cheap LCD voltmeter to monitor the voltage while cutting. I use this as my fuel gauge. With brand new lead batteries, I was able to cut exactly one acre before the voltage dropped to 40 volts and the blades disengaged. From a fresh charge, the voltage dropped linear from about 54 volts to 40 volts. When it reached 44 volts or less, you could see and hear a big difference in power. It was almost useless at 42 volts. Also, the lead batteries would lose about 20% capacity every year, which means I would have to recharge, then cutting grass. With lithium batteries, it's a totally different story. As of this video, I have had two cutting seasons with these lithium batteries, and I can tell you, they make the mower a whole new machine. On a full charge, they stay at about 49.5 volts, 50.5 volts and I can cut a full acre at that voltage so I have full power during that time. Without recharging the batteries I cut my yard again and the voltage stayed about the same for about half an acre. Then it started to drop. 
I was able to finish about another quarter acre before the batteries reached the 40 volt cutoff. In total, these 80 amp hour lithium batteries was able to cut 1.75 acres and do it better at full power most of the time versus the lead batteries. With the lead batteries, I was not able to make it up to the steep hill, but with the lighter lithium batteries, the mower has no problem making it up. Since this lithium battery has a 3000 cycle life and still have 80% remaining after that, I would guess that these batteries will outlast the mower, especially since I will only be using about 50 out of the 80 amp hours each time I use it. If I cut my whole yard about 30 times a year, these batteries will even outlast me. I do have a robot lawnmower that cuts about 90% of my yard, so I don't see these batteries ever needing to be replaced. If you have an Aaron's Amp mower, upgrading to lithium batteries is well worth the money in my opinion. Not only will they last longer, you will get better performance too. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.